Hey guys, in today's video I want to show you how I was able to create some ugly Christmas sweaters with Dolly that only took one click to do. At first I had some trouble creating some stuff that I wasn't looking for and then I was able to really dial it in. So if you're interested and you want to find out how I was able to create these ugly Christmas sweaters, come along and join me for the video. Alright, hey guys, so what I did in the beginning was I just told Dolly to create for me uh, an ugly Christmas sweater, right? And um, it did that, but it didn't really fully understand where I was going with it. So I said, hey, give me an ugly Christmas sweater design. And uh, there wasn't really much change uh, from that. Then what I did was I did a little bit of research, right? You could see here I made some mistakes, and then I did a little bit of research on GPT on uh, T Public, excuse me, and I searched just a picture of an ugly Christmas sweater, and I believe I actually used this image here. I took a picture of this, took a screenshot, and I gave it to Dolly, and I said, you know, what would the prompt for this design be like, right? And you can see here this is clearly a a very typical type of ugly Christmas sweater, right? It's got that pixelated design. It's got, uh, you know, the, the, the low quality kind of graphic style. And um, basically, you know, Dolly gave me a whole prompt uh, that is associated with it. And just to test if Dolly really knew what I was talking about, I gave it back the exact same prompt. And it asked, do you want me to create a design for you based on this prompt? And I said, yes. And you could see here the type of art it gave me, which was this. And this right here. And so, yeah, I could clearly understand. Dolly could clearly now understand where I was going with this. And I decided to start prompting it differently by studying what kind of prompt did it really give me for it to understand what I was looking for. And in the beginning, the prompt was a festive, ugly Christmas sweater design featuring pixel art style graphics. The sweater is dark colored, serving as a backdrop to a large, central, pixelated image of a medieval knight. Now, this is not necessarily a medieval knight. I believe this is the um, the Tin Man from, uh, uh, what's that movie called? I can't remember. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, the girl with the with the shoes. Yeah, I don't remember. But anyways, that's the Tin Man, right? And uh, it says here, above the night, in a stylized pixel art font, the text reads, Last Christmas is arched. Below the night, the text says, I gave you my heart, completes the phrase. The knight appears to be touching his chest where his heart would be, symbolizing the giving of his heart. Surrounding the night and texts are pixel art representations of broken hearts and snowflakes, adding to the Christmas theme and the message of the song lyrics the text is referencing. So very interesting that it was able to come up with this, and it did a phenomenal job, right? It did a very, very phenomenal job uh, with this, and honestly, I was genuinely impressed by what Dolly can do and the level of understanding that it had, and it and knocked it out of the park. It really did a great job. So now that we kind of understood, what we did was I went over here and I said, you know, I gave it something simple. I said, please create pixel art Christmas sweater designs. And then from here, it kind of understood what I was saying kind of slightly because I noticed it was starting to get degraded in this image because I don't really want a picture of a sweater, but I want the ugly Christmas sweater design, which is right here. And the cool thing is, like I said, you could pretty much do this for free. Dolly is pretty much free. So uh, very interesting in that kind of case. So then what I did was I kind of started shifting my behavior with Dolly. And I said, the first one was very good. Please make more and give me the prompt that I have it along with the generation ID. So I basically would want the prompt, I want the generation ID, and I want more designs like this. Now, of course, it doesn't really understand the difference between the two. However, um, by giving me the generation idea, I can more control the type of things that I want. 
So you could see here, I've gotten closer to that result in the second image, which is basically the middle. I want that middle context. And you could see the first one was able to get the middle of that sweater kind of approach. Um, if I was to use this design, I would have to go in and edit from this probably line over here down to maybe this line or even down to this line and all the way up to this line. So then what I did, right, was it provided me that information. It gave me the prompt. It gave me the generation ID, which is very important. You guys will see very soon how I use it. And indeed, it created, you know, different images based on that. So now, now that we have the generation ID, right, I can now create more art based on that. So I asked it, uh, using generation ID of this type of image, create an 8-bit ugly Christmas sweater style art featuring Santa Claus riding a T-Rex. And still, I noticed that it created the ugly Christmas sweater design, but it was still matching this sweater type of effect. So what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to show you, like I said, how to create more of this style art, but also how to edit this just in case this happens to you so that you can get the most out of your art. Does that make sense? So hopefully let's go ahead and have a great experience doing that today. So first thing I want to do is first I'm going to say, please create for me. And you guys know I write please all the time because you never know. Dolly or uh, these open AI might come to life one day and, you know, hopefully it spares me if that's the case. Maybe it remembers I'll say please. But anyways, please create for me and I'll write here A and then I'll just copy an ugly Christmas, ugly Christmas, right? And I'm not going to add the word sweater this time. I'm going to write ugly Christmas 8-bit design. Let me write... 8-bit design here, just like that, and then I'm going to add the details of what I want. Now, personally, I'm thinking maybe of just a Christmas tree with some ornaments on it, right? So, an ugly, uh, ugly Christmas 8-bit design of a Christmas tree with colorful ornaments on it, right? which is kind of ugly Christmas sweater, but it's not. I feel like there's a competition within the people to create or to have the literally the ugliest Christmas sweater that could possibly be. Um, but let's test it out. Let's see what we can do. And I'm going to start getting my equipment ready once the image is generated so I can learn how to edit. And I'll show you guys how to edit some of these designs. So here I'm going to click Remind Me Later. And then what I'm going to do is you see an image like this. This is perfect. This is essentially what I'm looking for. In a case like this, you know, there's only one thing I would really do. I would go over here and hit download and bring it into my application. And this application here, you guys could see I have all kinds of different images. Even this image here of some of my earnings for T Public, right? This image here is an upscaler. And basically what it does is it makes the image significantly larger so it looks less pixelated. And it looks and basically what it does is it makes the image significantly larger so it looks less pixelated. And it looks right. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna take this. Christmas tree and I'm just going to drag it and drop it here and although I do want a pixelated look I don't want to have an ugly too much of an ugly look right it, it has to look natural so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit upscale and I'm going to go and click 4x so currently it's at 1024 pixels and I'm going to go for 4000 plus pixels right so I'm going to click on that and there we go here we have a 4000 plus pixeled image now, what I can do is I could do a few things. I could clean up these edges right here and crop it. I could remove the background. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that, more specifically with this image, because this is, it. This is an image that's a little more challenging, right? But let's just assume you wanted to use an image like this. You would go over here and hit download, right? And then you would go over here, hit catalog. You take the image and upload it into your upscaler. After you go ahead and upload the image into your upscaler, the first thing that you want to do 
is you want to go ahead and upscale the image. So let's just say I go ahead and I hit upscale here. That's great. Now what my goal to do is I want to create a uniform background between the tree and the rest of the details so I don't cut off any of the details when I'm performing a cut to the image. So how can I do that? How can I make sure that this is as dark as that color around the tree? Well, I can try my best and I can go over here and I could decrease the exposure, right? Or increase the exposure rather. And I don't see that that's necessarily changing. I can go over here and hit smart contrast and shift the smart contrast up. And there we go. Indeed, this worked almost perfectly, right? And that's just enough for me to kind of see where the outline is and where it isn't of this character type sweatshirt type design. And now that that's taken care of, I'm just going to go ahead and export the image. All right. So I'm going to go over here and hit disk and I'm going to type in ugly, ugly S W W W just like that ugly sweater. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an image uh, editing tool called GIMP. It's actually an image manipulation tool. And I'm going to get rid of now my upscaler. And by the way, the upscale software is more than just upscaling. As you saw, you could do a few things. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can grab it with a discount. So it'll automatically apply a discount for you guys uh, for that software if you want to check it out. All right. So now that we have the image, uh, there's a few things we can do. Really, our main goal is just to kind of make the image a perfect square in terms of the details that's in it. And the second thing we want to do is get rid of everything we don't want. So what I'm going to do personally is I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to match with the background color that is here perfectly, this background color. And I'm going to start drawing over the things that I don't want. So let's just say I don't want this section. I'm going to simply erase it like that. And let's just say I personally don't want anything more than uh, like anything more than these stars up here. So I would go in and I will erase this section just like this. Right. And once again, this is assuming that the design that you created is coming out like this sweater. Right. Where you just can't get that perfect design to look like this. OK. You could just make more of obvi the obviously. And, and wait for a new design to come out. But instead, you could do it this way, right? So we're going to go ahead and erase, okay? And we're going to go ahead and erase here, okay? Let's go ahead and increase the size of this, right? Just like this. And don't worry if, you know, you hit the side here a little bit. As long as you're not taking out any details, that's what we're looking for. OK, and what I could do is I could actually zoom in and start doing the same thing to the left hand side, whatever makes it easier for you to just erase some of that left hand side. OK, and uh, left hand side, right hand side all works the same way. All right. So we're going to take this and we're just going to erase kind of like this. OK, let's do the same thing here and let's do the same thing right there. Now, if I zoom out, that should be majority of the image and indeed it is you could see here we can go to a 25 percent zoom and this is now the middle of the image is essentially what exists all right so now what we're going to do is we want to make sure the background is neutral right so we have this background color and then we have this bluish tint so i'm going to click on this paint bucket fill and i'm just going to click on every color that doesn't necessarily align with what the background potentially is. So I'm going to go like this, click on some things. And now the background matches exactly what I'm personally looking for. And you could see here it's done that perfectly, right? I can go to a 50% zoom, right? You could see the background color here and you can, we can go to a 25% uh, zoom or 12.5% zoom That's taken care of. Now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and create a cut to whatever we're seeing here and I'll show you how to do this so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna zoom to about 25 percent and we're gonna now create a border around what we want and what we don't want so just like this right just like this and then we're gonna scroll down and I'm willing to go all the way down here just like that and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this slightly downward just like that okay 
and bring this a little bit to the left and bring this a little bit to the right. So it's pretty much perfect. So what I'm going to do is after creating this uh, square type rectangle type shape, I'm going to hit select and I'm going to hit invert. Okay. And then after invert, I'm going to go to edit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cut. Okay. And what that will do is that will darken basically this whole entire uh, outside edge. Now I'm going to go over here and select and I'm going to select none. And you see how this is a perfect square now or close to a perfect square. I, my goal is not to be a perfect square. It just, my goal is to get rid of anything that shouldn't be there. And now I'm going to simply go over here and hit layer. And then I'm going to go to transparency and add alpha channel. And I'm going to start now selecting the things that I don't want to be included in my image. So I don't want this, you know, grayish border and I definitely don't want this black color. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to hit my eraser, increase that eraser size, and I'm going to start erasing everything I don't want just like this. So you see that now that the item or the, or the art is becoming transparent, right? And it's still going to fit that ugly Christmas sweater style, but it's transparent now. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit select none. We do have some black here in the background, so I'll select that, right? So I'll pick this and then do the same here, right? So it's highlighted, and then I'm going to hit erase. And now the design is pretty much perfect. In fact, this is as good as it's going to get. I'm going to go to here to export, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to type in... Uh, just some random lettering to represent what the design is. I'll hit uh, save as a PNG, okay? And then I'll hit export, just like this, and hit export again. And you could see now, once the design is completed, when I open it up, we'll be able to see what it is now. Now, this background here, this grayish background, is not what it actually is. It's tr fully transparent, Okay, so if I was to upload this on T Public or anything like that, it would have a perfectly transparent background. Let me show you how that would look. Okay, I'm here on T Public, and I'm going to attempt to upload this image to T Public. Okay, and there we go. Remember, if you don't go through the upscaling process, you're not going to be actually able to add this image to T Public, unfortunately. Um, T Public has certain requirements on how images will be uploaded and the sizes that they'll be uploaded in, but you could see this is a perfect now T Public image for a ugly Christmas sweater that I barely had to do any work to, right? I didn't have to do any designing. I'm just communicating simply. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below and let me know what kind of Christmas, ugly Christmas sweaters are you going to be creating? Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, bye.